All right, so in this lecture, we're going to continue on the iPhone app to be able to, let's say, capture a photo and we get the description of that photo from the large language model vision. Now, uh, in the previous lecture, what we did is set up LM Studio so that we have a server running and that server is running an LLM that is a vision LLM. So we have to make sure that it's selecting a preset for vision and that you can go to the vision Python and it gives you an example of how it's going to be. So now what we need to do is recreate something similar to that, but inside of iOS in Swift. So make sure you have your Xcode IDE open and that you have your project open. And the meat of the code was inside of the AI manager interface. So open this one. And if you remember, we were interacting with the chat, um, the chat LLM, by using this method that we created, generate text with private server. Now, the payload here was um, a role of the system. So we had a system message and then the user with a, a text prompt. So this time, we do not want a text prompt. We want a base64 encoded image. Well, you guys should know by now that this is what we want. Why? Because it says it whenever we run, it says that it's um, expecting a base64 image. And also you can see it here in the example, it says base64 image. So that's how we know. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing. First, let's create the method. Go back to Xcode and we're gonna create a, a similar method right below. Instead of calling, calling it generate text with private server, we're gonna go down and add a new function. So func generate description from image from private server. It's a lot descriptive and on purpose, just so that, you know, we're learning here. So I wanna make sure that we all uh, learn. And uh, that you know it's pr very descriptive and here what do we want well we definitely want something different than here the method signature here was a prompt and a system message well we don't want that but we definitely want uh, the completion so i'm just going to copy and paste that in the other one so I'll do something similar or you can type it all right but instead of the prompt i will have let's say an image string so uh, image URL, that would be one way. And, and let me write string because I wanna make sure that we know it's a string, but we don't really have to because it says string here, so it's up to you. Uh, I'll just remove it because it already says string. We do not need a system message, but we do need a completion. And let's open and close the curly braces. Okay, so that will do for the method signature. Um, now, the next step is to actually have an image URL. So for the sake of learning, um, let's, let's load this method. So I'm gonna copy this and let's call this inside of the view controller. So going to the view controller, if you guys remember, whenever we press the, the tab button, that calls the, um, the, 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 the prompt, so chatting with the prompt. But just for the sake of learning, we're going to do it in the view did load so that we call it once. So let image URL is equal to, and here we're gonna to need to put an URL, and then we call the, the code something very similar that we have here, AI manager dot. So let's do this, AI manager dot, and this time generate description from image from private server. And um, then we'll do with the, the result, just like we did here, result. So I'm just gonna copy this. here, so, well, the image URL is image URL, and for the completion, I'm just gonna copy and paste that here. All right, let's just make sure we have the correct signature, so we close, so far so good. And um, what else do we need? Yes, we need to switch the result as well, if this is a success or not, so I'll just copy this for now and um, we'll have to deal with this. So this is the success and failure. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here. So um, 
we don't need this for now. We don't. We just need to print the result from the server right now. So um, it's probably not going to be generated text, but uh, that's okay for now. Uh, let's just have this switch. Okay, so what else do we need? Well, we definitely need the, um, the URL, right? The image URL. Well, we can take the one from the penguin, right? So go back to LM Studio. You can go to the example and take the image URL of the penguin that's here, the three penguins. Copy this, Command C or Control C on Windows. Go back to Xcode and paste it in the double quote. All right, so we have the image URL and we have the call here. But right now we have not worked on the actual code of the um, method, right? So we need to do this here. For now, I'll just do completion and put here um, nil for now. And uh, at this point, it's probably going to complain because that's, we need a result. Uh, so just double code this. And in the next lecture, we're going to work on the actual code of this. So this is the, the bread and butter of this action.